Hello everybody. Uh, I'm super excited to announce something. Um, we got a new hot glue gun. So don't worry, I am not giving up my entire gun collection. The hot glue gun uh, that we previously had is still broken. But uh, we did buy a new one and I'm pleased to add a new addition. The RPG-7. It doesn't look perfect. But it does, it, the RPG, it looks kind of basic, you'll see. But the RPG is kind of basic, so, yeah. I did, however, incorporate a little bit of, quite a bit of quirks into it. Uh, one of them being here, and the other one being here. So, first of all, uh, the rocket can actually come out. See, the rocket is here. Kind of hard to make the shape of it, that's why it looks a little bit trash, I'm not going to lie. See, it doesn't look very good. Um, it's just a tube. This is just a tube that goes to about there. And then I made these two cone shapes here. And I wrapped a piece of carbon around here to make sure that the entire... I stand up. To make sure that this actually stops at where it's supposed to and doesn't go in it as much but that's the rocket and the other one is i made the i mean i made this piece move so well, how you would shoot this is you would uh you would put a rocket in you would screw something on the rocket and then put it in don't know, don't know what that thing is screw on you uh pull this down and then the trigger would have been here i didn't make it but then you would fire, and then the entire rocket would shoot out like that. And you can see, uh, you can see the main body is it. You can see that. Uh, let's talk about the grips. You can see it is two flat pieces of cardboard here with a hole there, and here with a hole with a hole there, and I wrapped a piece of cardboard around the entire contour uh, the entire contour of that I stopped there because of that I wanted to make this piece move I just put these to keep it straight in and I continued a little bit on and then I just cut I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I cut some grooves there do you see that I cut some grooves so it would match with the entire tube and the other grip also has some grooves cut into it. See there? It's kind of obvious on that one. And it's just a piece of cardboard wrapped around like this with a piece covered in the bottom. Oh yeah, by the way, for this piece, uh, I made a piece that looks like that. And then it's like a circle like that. So yeah, it'll be more to see. It's more like that. And I made a hole for it. I layered it four times. As you can see. You can't count that there. One, two, three, four. It's four layers there. And I made it on a pivot. So you can actually move it just like the real one. So on the real one, you would pull this back before pulling the trigger. It would shoot forward and the rocket would come out. And as you can see, this is actually the main tube. However, the tube actually sh cuts off about here. And then I added another tube here. Another tube here and it goes from thinner to thicker and then I added another tube here and I added a cone at the end and see in there you can see some like wrapping it's not the best RPG I could have ever made but I do actually really like how it turned out the RPG is a pretty basic gun if you really think about it um so yeah it is a very basic gun a rocket launcher. That's actually the third rocket launcher I've made. I'm not going to get them out. But in that cabinet, which I know you all know now. If you've seen a couple of my gun videos. Or cardboard gun videos. Uh, you'll see. Especially, go watch the two cardboard gun videos I made. Like for like the entire gun collection. Go watch those. Because uh, you will see that I have actually made a two other... I have made two other rocket launchers. One of them was the German uh, rocket launcher that they used in the in World War, I think, one or two. So one of those, or maybe both actually, known as the Panzerfaust. 
then I and then after that I also made a M79 grenade launcher from the US. I might want to make a Panzer Shrek next to go along with my Panzer Forst. Trust me, even though they have a very similar name, except for the last bit, Forst and Shrek, Panzer is exactly the same. Trust me, they're completely different though. I might want to do that because it's like a tube with a rocket inside of it. It's like a tube and it has this massive shield like here with the sights in it. It's really cool. I might want to try and make that next. Honestly, I'm off for the challenge and tackling that one. I think I actually will do that. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not, I'll think about it. I'll try to get it tomorrow though. So see you later guys. Have a fantastic day. See you later.